96 Land Rover Discovery stock bumper 95 no bumper today we're going to make a custom bumper for the 96 we're going to do it the easy way with common tools and uh, so you don't need to go out and buy you some super duper set of tools that you're only going to use once in your life okay so here's the tools we're going to use common everyday scissors painter's tape because it's easy to get off box knife tape measure doesn't doesn't have to be huge um, six foot tape measure would be the minimum speed square it's for a carpenter and these are real cheap a piece of pencil and uh, a, a calculator that will do so sine cosine and tangent okay uh, unless you're really good with algebra in your head or trigonometry then you're going to need one of these this costs about ten bucks um, you can get one of these um, at, made out of plastic for about five dollars and um, I'd be surprised if you didn't have this stuff laying around and this is a piece of cardboard it's just scrap trash picked and this is a piece of fiberboard that I'm going to use for its straight edge okay you want a straight edge of at least uh, four feet that's four feet and of course uh, a notebook and then um, most important of all you need some high-tech workbench uh, to work on and um, you need definitely need the dirty rag those are required so the first thing you do draw what you want your bumper to look like okay this is going to be the frame of my bumper I'm going to cover the top in diamond plate so um, so it'll, it'll look nice and pretty and I'll be able to bolt things down onto it so I drew the lines and cut that angle and as you can see it follows pretty closely the angle of the truck I've kept this a straight cut for the centerpiece. That way it makes it easy. So we only have to make a couple of angle cuts. I encourage you to make cardboard first. Don't go cutting metal first. That, that would be a bummer. You can also use this method for taking a piece of diamond plate and plating over your stock bumper. That will keep you from having to fabricate uh, a whole brand new bumper and uh, brackets and going crazy uh, with metal cutting, welding, bolting, etc. Okay, so we have our cardboard template. Works pretty easily. Works pretty nicely, pardon me. I'll use these two plates, well, four plates, put it together, <coughs> and I'll glue it up <coughs> so that we have a prototype. I'll let it dry overnight before I try and uh, put it up against the rover. Those are specially calibrated hammers made for rover templates. So here we have our template made out of fiberboard using the exact measurements that uh, we had on paper and so let's fit it now if you don't own a 10 inch saw and all you've got is a circular saw you can always purchase yourself a, a smaller metal cutting blade 